Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and I'm in my craft room and it's Monday night stampin' time. Just going to get my computer to where I can watch the comments. going to do this and, and hush my myself. There we go. All right. So, Monday night live. Woohoo! Let's stamp some stuff. I'm going to continue on with the just use that designer paper theme that I've been doing in the past couple of weeks. Oh, there's everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Nice to see you. Well, I can't see you, but you can see my hands. Okay, so this is an easel card, which means the front folds like this, and then it pops up, and then you add something on the inside onto dimensionals so it gives an anchor for the pop-up. Isn't that cute? Hello. Hello, Donna and Norma and Holly and Valerie. Yay! I get a homemade envelope. Thanks, Val. Okay, so we're going to make this tonight, and then we're going to make an envelope. And I just realized I didn't get the envelope punch board, so let me get that. It's not far. It lives not far from me anymore. Hey, Jess. I know you just sent me a um, an image, but I was already online, so I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, so this uses that strawberry what's it called berry delightful designer paper I'm going to by the time celebration is over in a week I'm going to have very little of that designer paper left by choice because I'm using a lot of it and then what I do have left I'm going to make envelopes out of so I can't remake this one because I've already used that color all up so I cut up another one another one of the patterns. This one has Poppy Parade in it. So we're going to use that. And I brought out the um, Flowers for Every Season Just Jade. Uh, hmm. What's that? Gingham. That's a hard word for me to remember. Gingham ribbon to see if that's going to work. And I'm thinking it's going to. That'll be like really cool. Okay, so we have that, and I have my bow maker, so we'll have, I'll be making a bow live, so everybody will get to see that. Okay, so I took a 12 by 12 piece of designer paper, and I cut four inches off one side, and four inches off the other side, and then I cut these pieces. So I've got a little bit of this designer paper left. Where did I put my ruler? Uh-oh, there it is. So that's 12 inches, and this is 10 inches. So I have a 2-inch piece left of this, but that's it out of one piece of designer paper. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to put that up there. And I have um, a Poppy Parade card base that's 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half and 2 and 3 quarters. And then I have a 5 and a quarter by 4 inch Whisper White for the inside. And I did show you that, but I will show you again. There's the inside. Oh, look! There's a strip of designer paper in there. I'm thinking that I'm going to cut this down. I... I obviously haven't cut this. This is full, still for full strength. But I'm thinking I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter, too, to let more of that designer paper show. Okay, so that's for the inside. And then I have... Oh, no, it's not. That's for the outside. Sorry, that goes on the front. And then the designer paper goes on top. So this is five and a quarter by four. The designer paper paper is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then I have a piece of granny apple green that is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. 
and then we'll layer a piece of designer paper on that. Now we can use either side. This is what the other side looks like. So this one measures two and three quarters by four. And what else? Got white to do the oval and white to do the sentiment and white to do the three on the inside. These are all punched. And I discovered that the small bloom punch is exactly the right shape to cut out that one. So, hi Carmen. So in the Sweet Strawberry, there's this image, which punches out with the small bloom die. And this image punches out with the Strawberry Builder die. Pretty cool. Now I chose to color those with Stampin' Blends, but there you do have the this that maybe we'll do that instead. Okay, so what else have I got here? I have to get another piece of white because I forgot to get one for the inside. Okay, I have a strip. I have a strip and inside I did five and a quarter by three and a quarter. So it's five and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm going to do it three and a quarter and I think I'm going to do it by five. By three and a quarter. And I just got to grab my poppy parade. So I made it a little bit shorter to let more of that designer paper show on the inside. So that's the inside piece. Okay, so I'm also using one of the heart charms. Oh, these have been back ordered for quite a while, but I love them. They're flat on one side, and then they're gently curved on the other side. They're, they are amazing. So we're going to use one of those. And some rhinestones. Kidoki. Now... I am going to put all this to the side because we are going to look. I have brand new dirty paper. I have clean dirty paper. Pretty cool. Okay, I need an oval. I have my layering ovals here. And I didn't write down what size, so I'm going to have to guess. Let's see, maybe this size? Nope. Maybe that size? Nope. This size. There we are. So it's the second to the largest one I used. We'll just put that over there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out right now. So how was everybody's weekend? Did you, did you make it through the weekend? We had, I had a very busy, very busy weekend. That's going to put my die away. But Sundays are my social media days. So I set up my posts for an entire week on Sunday. So that's what I do on Sundays. And then today, oh my, you made envelopes. That's awesome. Today was a banner day because it was, I'm stamping this in memento up towards the top here. Um, it was warm, not really warm but it was 10 degrees when I went for my walk this afternoon instead of the usual three or four it has been okay so I stamped that put that to the side now there we are. I'm going to stamp the sentiment as well And 
and then we need to stamp two big ones. I did two big ones and a little one. So I've got them on the same um, on the same block. But when I did mine, I stamped I stamped them in um, Blackberry Bliss because I used my Wink of Stella to reactivate the ink there. But I'm going to stamp these ones in black. So I stamp a little one. And a couple of big ones. And then today, after I got back from my walk, we took the cover off of our trailer. So spring is officially here, ladies. It has hit. Okay, so on the inside, I'm going, I might as well stamp this while I have it going. Find my piece that I cut for the inside. There it is, way over there. Is that it? Nobody else had a good weekend? Just Valerie? Okay, I'm going to stamp a big one there and a big one up here. Hi, Yvonne. I forgot what do I... Oh, it's um, rubbing alcohol. 70% rubbing alcohol. Don't use the 99 because it takes all the little um, blingy particles that are in there and glums them all up into one big clump. Okay. So we have our pieces stamped. Now you have to suffer through me coloring. I'm going to use Granny Apple Green and Poppy Parade. This is the light. Oops, that's dark. That's not going to work. You're very welcome. Okay, I'm going to just do a base coat of the light. Now when you're stamping, or coloring, I mean, with um, Stampin' Blends, you can either go light to dark or dark to light. And it doesn't matter which one you choose. There is no right or wrong way. It's whatever works for you. I personally like going light to dark because I find the way I color, it blends a little bit better. But you can go dark to light. And you can use either of the um, ends. The stamp and blends come, one end is a brush tip, the other end is a bullet tip. And each one works. You just have to pick whichever one works with your coloring style better. Okay, there's one set of leaves. Just remember when you're coloring um, not to do too big of an area at once because then the ink tends to dry and then you have to add a whole bunch more to it to reactivate. I don't want to get it on my good paper. To reactivate the ink if you let it dry. Because it won't blend unless the ink is still wet. So a nice layer of the light goes down and then I go over top with the dark like that and then back over the top with the light and that takes out any of the harsh edges. There we are. So that's the Granny Apple Green. Oops, I was going to put the wrong thing in there. So when you're coloring, you should have this at the, on the back because that means your paper is has been saturated enough that everything is going to blend properly. 
So now I'm using Poppy Parade on the flowers. Just going on with a very light coat. And I'm sorry if there's comments because my eyes are down. Oh, no comments. Whoops, wrong end. I, don't, I really don't like the brush end. I can't get it to work, which is really strange, but that's just the way it is. But I do use that when I'm coloring um, pearls or rhinestones or gems or something, because then I'm not wrecking the tip that I color with. Okay, and one more little flower to do. I haven't been blending a lot lately when I use these. I've just been doing one color. So that's why I decided on this one to do a little bit of blending. And I'll close that up. Whoops. That was my stamp and seal falling on the floor. And it exploded when it fell on the floor. Hang on. Got to put it back in. They're made to come apart because there's refills for them. There we are. Okay. So that's done. And now these, I'm going to use... I hadn't planned this, but I will do it anyways. Yes, there is a way to... Hi, Mary. There is a way to refill blending pens. Yes, there is. There's a solution of... Um, what's it? Glycerin. Let me see if I have my bottle here. Hang on, let me go find my bottle. Uh-oh, I don't know where it is. I move things around and I can't find my bottle. I don't know where it is. But there is a glycerin solution. It's glycerin and something else. So if you... I lost my bottle. I lost my bottle, all right. Um, if you Google blender pen solution, it'll be in there. I, I did a... I did a post on it, but it was a long time ago. It's probably gone. I don't know where I did it. So now I'm just going to stamp, use the coloring stamp for these flowers instead of using the blender pen on them. Or I mean the stamp and blends on them. I've got blender pen in my head now. Okay. And this one, oops, just about did it. I don't want to get my nice new um, grid paper dirty. So this is a distinctive set. So when you put, when you put the color on the flowers, you get it in varying degrees. It's really pretty. But I forgot to do the other two that I have to punch out. So I'll go back and do them. Now these don't have color in the center. So I'm going to get... Yeah, they... And then when you when you go to fill them, Yvonne, get a little container. 
this one's too big, but if you've got a little container or something and tip it up, put your solution in there and then tip it up on something like that and have your pen in here. Put that tip in the solution and just do it overnight and it will suck that solution right up. Okay, I'm putting that back. Now I'm getting the daffodil delight because I'm going to put yellow centers in these flowers. And these ones. There we are. Okay, I think we're ready to do some assembly. Yeehaw! That's always the fun part. Okay, so while I'm die cutting this, you need to tell me which which way you want the designer paper. Okay, so this will be way one. Or two. So tell me, designer paper the first way or the second way? And I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to cut it out with the floral gallery dies, this little tiny thing. Get it lined up and put my post-it note on it so it doesn't move. I discovered these post-it notes that are water resistant and they're basically plastic and they work awesome for this because I ran out of, oh look at that, one, two, one, two, okay we're half and half. I ran out of washi tape. And I was using just um, regular post-it notes and they were getting all cut up and I was going through quite a few of them. So I thought, well, I'll try these. I had ordered these waterproof ones by mistake and they're wonderful. Okay, one, two, one, two. Come on. We need some more votes in there. We There's, there's other people watching. I don't want to have to do the... I don't want to have to do the uh, tiebreaker. Okay, dimensional on this. And everything else is flat there. Now I'm going to get take one of the hearts. One. One, two, one, two. There you should be upside right. I know, they're not on there. I haven't added them yet. I just need to know one or two. One, one. Looks like one is, is winning out. I'm just going to put some Tombow dots on the back of this heart. And then sit it aside to dry so that they become little glue dots. Well, it looks like number one has one out. Put that out of the way so I don't get it everywhere. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be this way, and then that, and then that, and then this. There we go. That's what it's going to be. Okay. We will attach. We will attach. This is the one that fell on the floor. The designer paper to the white. I 
think I cut it sideways, but that's okay. Nobody's going to know. All right, so now to put it on here, we want to attach only from the fold down. So I'm just going to, oops, it moved. There, I'm going to take a pencil and I'm gonna put a line there so I know where the adhesive needs to go. Put the adhesive down below that mark. There we are, because you want it attached only to this part or you won't be able to fold it. Oops, uh-oh, uh-oh, ah, ah, come on. Oh, annoying. Okay, so that's going to go right there on the front of the card, like, oh no, I didn't put the ribbon on. Oh, ladies, you need to be yelling at me. Ribbon! Ribbon! Gotta put the ribbon on. Okay. Ribbon. Ribbon. See, that's going to look... Oh, that's going to look cool. Okay. You need to tie a knot or a bow in the ribbon. I call this an inline bow. Give it a good tug. Make sure it's nice and tight and I'm pulling my tail sideways because that's where I want them to go. There we are. Now, it's going to go on. I'm just doing this so I can figure out how longish it needs to be. Get that out of the way. Get the piece back in that I did my adhesive on. And it's going to go, this goes right over as far over as I can get it. And right about there, I think. That's the right. Yep, that'll do. Okay, and I'm going to turn this over. Make sure that's straight. So I've been watching Jane the Virgin on TV. Oh my God, is it ever funny. Has anybody watched it? It's going to bring in a little bit of tear and tape because I find putting that stamp and seal over top of ribbon, sometimes it tends to move it. Has anybody been watched Jane the Virgin on Netflix? Oh my God, it is hilarious. They do it in the form of, uh-oh, that went up too high. Eek! I'm going to have to try and get that out of there. Um... They do it in the form of a terra novella, which is like a, a, a Spanish, sort of like a soap opera thing. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, just get this out there. There we are. Okay, now we can put it on. I'm, I'm only to the part where. They haven't got married yet. They're still working on it. And so she's had, her mother has been naughty and they're not talking and the wedding is coming up and the house is all exploded. And yeah, it's funny. Okay, there's the front. Now we'll attach this to this. We'll layer that onto the granny apple green piece. 
and then it's going to go this way, but it's going to go up on dimensionals. So now I'll get the dimensionals, and I don't want to put dimensionals where the ribbon is. So I'm just going to kind of put this on here. Uh-oh, I didn't get that over far enough. Oh, no. Oh, well. We'll fake it. I'm going to put this on here, and then I'm going to mark where the ribbon is so I don't put dimensionals on there. And because this is two layers, it doesn't need a lot of dimensionals to keep it popped up. There we are. Okay, so this will go on the front. What else is good to watch on Netflix? Well, once this is over, I'll be looking for something else. And Hubby and I are looking for another series to watch, too. We like crime mysteries. That's straight. There we go. Now this will go on. Now we uh, like um, Father Brown and um, Somerset Murders. Was it called? Was that what it was called? Somerset Murders. But apparently we've run out of them to watch. There we go. Okay, now. My uh, heart is not quite dry yet, so I'll put this on the front. Down here, right in line with the ribbon. And rhinestones. Oh, that's not the rhinestones. Where's my rhinestones? Oh, I put them away. Good thing my room is small and they hang out right where I need them. Midsummer Murders, that's it. Lewis, Morse, Heartbeat, yes. Midsummer Murder, Lewis. Never heard of Morse or Heartbeat. Hmm, are those on uh, Netflix, Val? I loved Midsummer Murders, especially because it was so long. It was like 19 seasons or something. It took us three or four years to watch them all. We didn't have to go looking for things. Okay. Wink Costella. Because you can never have too much Wink Costella. And this was colored with the uh, stamp and blend so I know it won't reactivate the ink. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this paper. Oh my gosh. And it's hard to believe that we've only got what's today? Today's the twenty second. We've got six days left and then celebration number one is over. Knowledge. Oh, okay. Moore's was the boss of Lewis after Morse left. The, oh. I keep trying to find Vera. I haven't been able to find it that we can stream it. Hang on, I need to find something to write those names down. Vera, I can't find that. And Morse. And what was the other way? Other one you said? Heartbeat. I will have a look for those. I've looked for Vera before with no with no results. I can find it, but I can't find where we can 
watch it for free. Okay, this is going to go in here like that. It's a little long, so I'm just going to trim it. There we go. Oops. There, Janet was in my head. She was saying, turn it upside down or right side down or whatever she said. Scott and Bailey, yeah, watch that too. And then there was that one that was um, that lady, and it was a, an Australian one, Miss something or other. We watched all those. Father Brown is no longer on Netflix. We were watching it. We had two left to go, and they removed that from Netflix. Okay, here we go. There's that one. Now this is going to go on here like that. And just put that down. Miss Fisher, yes, Miss Fisher, that was the one. That was a good one. And she left us in a plane flying off. Okay, so there's the inside. Now, we need to punch out the ones that are going to be the anchors on the inside. So we'll just use the small bloom punch and line that up. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Miss Fisher. Oh, and Murdoch Mysteries. We love Murdoch Mysteries. Okay, so that was that was the small bloom die. Oh. And I need to punch out a one inch circle. Miss Scarlet and the Duke? Oh, haven't heard of that one. Have to write that down. Miss Scarlet and the Duke. And then there was Call the Midwife. We liked that one too, but we've watched all those. Okay, so now I'm just going to punch this one out with the Strawberry Builder Punch. garbage in the garbage. So what I did was I punched a one inch circle punch so I could build this all up on the one inch circle punch and then pop the whole thing up. So now I need my glue dots. Just about time for a new package of glue dots. Put one there. And I'll put one there. And I'm doing this because these are all flat because otherwise you have too much on the inside. So there we go. And I didn't use Winkastella on these because these are the ones I stamped and I didn't want to reactivate that ink. Okay, some dimensionals on here. Like that. All right, so now we take this and I open it up and we put this kind of judge how far up you want it to be and just attach those like that and there we go. There's the easel part. Now we just have the heart left to put on.
Yay! There we go. Now we have to make the envelope. So once again, I have eight by eight cardstock or designer paper. And I've done a, a video on how to do these envelopes. And it'll be, it lives on my YouTube channel. But I've posted it. I think I posted it. Hang on. Okay, I don't remember whether I posted it on my in my VIP page yet, but Wednesday it will post on my blog and it will post um, on my regular Facebook page. It will show up on the VIP page, I just don't know when. Okay, so there's that. Now, do we want, tell me, do we want berries on the outside or do we want leaves on the outside? I'll do this like we're gonna use the leaves because I think that way the berries will be right too. So that'll be the top. you. I need to know which way to do the the envelope though. Do we want leaves or berries? Mary, um it's on Amazon. It's um um We are memory keepers and it's called an envelope punch board. And it has it has they have two. They have a mini and a full size and you want the full size one. So while you guys are deciding, I want to show you a card that I made. My friend Leanne did a, a video on the weekend of this technique. Look at this. The leaves, the leaves, the leaves. Okay. Look at this technique. It's called a starburst technique and it's done with the um, also ombre paper. Isn't that stunning? I'll be doing a video on how to do it I just don't know when it doesn't matter about the writing um, Janet because I put I put a label on it because I invested in a new label printer <sighs> oh excuse me um, I invested in a, a label printer and I'm having so much fun with it. I'm putting labels on everything now. So you probably won't get a handwritten envelope from me again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, there's the envelope. I do like that. That's stunning. That's stunning. Good choice. Okay, let's just take this off. Thank you. Oh. They have them in Walmart too? That's good to know, Holly. And just trim off the point. Just because I like it to be nice and flat. Thank you. Okay. Yes, it is too bad because now I've I've finally figured out what to use it for. Hello, Blondie. Okay, so I need to put some whoops, wrong side. I need to put adhesive on the envelope. This is a fabulous way to use designer paper. There we are. And then when I'm done, I just go over it with the, with the bone folder just to make sure it's all 
nice and tightly folded and then I have a little oops here so I'm just going to trim that off and nobody will ever know so shush don't tell anybody okay there we are there's our card for tonight and I have this much designer paper left two little tiny pieces out of a 12 by 12 sheet Well, that's good. Good. So there is a couple of places to get them. There's probably other places online too, but I don't know where they are. So there we go, ladies. So that's it now till Thursday, right? Thursday night, I have another designer paper fun fold for you. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, Janet, Valerie. I had a lot of fun. It's nice to see you guys for a little bit and get some stamping done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. My weekly update goes out tomorrow, so if you haven't signed up for that, go to my blog, uh, glendamollett.blogspot.com, and sign up for my weekly um, newsletter. Lots of great information in there, and every week you get a free card tutorial. Thanks, everybody. Stampin' Smiles, and bye for now. <laughs>